I'm a person that likes to run the system myself. So the approach to my doing a biopsy is really I want to run the system from the console all the way through the case. What my techs will do for me is they'll get the patient on the table and they'll do the initial topogram. But they don't do any spirals for me. And the reason I do that is I want the spirals to be absolutely fresh because inevitably patients move on the table. Whether it's they're just not quite sedated yet and they're a little uncomfortable and they shift, or if they're receiving more of a sedation and their diaphragm relaxes, things tend to move. So really, what's really useful then is to have a scan that is fresh and just done. So well, I'll do the scan myself, because it's just pushing a button, um, and then I'll review the images to figure out the best approach. And on the system from Siemens, there's really two sets of images you can work with. There are these traditional axial images that if it's a really easy biopsy, I'll plan using those. But if it's a complex oblique to reach the lesion, then I'll use the 3D tools. And those are just on one layer below, and they're very easy to use. Like any 3D workstation, you just move the crosshairs to the lesion, and then you can move the lines to adjust your obliquities until you can find a safe way into the lesion. And then no matter whether you're planning on 2D or 3D, it's just two clicks to plan your needle placement. So one click on the lesion, one click on the skin surface, and that's the, the plan. And then the next step, and I usually do this myself again because it's so easy, is I just push the button that activates the laser. So it's basically turn the laser button on and then move the table and the lasers light up and your spot on their entrance by the kid patient is already done. So you're ready to go and that's really the start. So once we get in the room, I still run the system myself. Uh, so the nice thing again, Siemens has provided on the Excite a really excellent tool table side to interact with the system. So I can zoom, pan, uh, change window levels, all the things you want to do to make it easier to see a lesion or your needle, they're easy to do in the room. Um, I should also mention, by the way, that you can plan more than one path. So you can plan several pathways, say you're doing a cryoablation and you want to plan several needles into the lesion, and you can just jump between those needle pathways and easily place all of your needles without going back to the console. So all those things are well thought out from the user interface point of view, and it makes it easy to use. Uh, and other things we can do, you can save images. I like to save a couple of images during the case to really show that I've reached the lesion on an uh, on oblique, so that's always possible if you'd like to save some images. So the tasks that you might want to do, they're easy, they're quick, and any user can do them from table side. The table motion, again, is controlled by a hard button. It's about the only hard button in the system is a table motion button, and all the rest is uh, things on the iPad, which are pretty easy to work with. So, the user interface is optimized for the flow to complete the case, and I find it to be pretty easy that I can run it entirely myself.